of painting on the patio. Um, probably the title is talking about abstract florals, but today I'm going to try something a little bit different. And this will be a fun little painting adventure for all of us. Um, it looks like it will be some kind of ocean view. Okay, it's a loud noise, but um, Luis is here, Lord Pancakes is here. Hey you guys! Oh my gosh, so happy to see y'all. Yeah, so some kind of a, almost like a sunset or sunrise kind of scene. Something that has not been done before on this stream, so. So first I'm just using my usual blue paint to get started on the ocean section. And there was already some, excuse me, some other color that was mixed into the brush, kind of a whitish, yellowish sort of color, light yellow. And so that's what's causing these little streaks in the blue. But I'm working really quickly to um, try to make this happen before the paint dries, so you'll see me doing really, really quick brush strokes, at least as fast as I can. Because what I want to do is eventually have a section in the middle, and this may take a couple of coats of paint. I'm seeing it's uh, not getting perfect coverage yet, so let's see, Orlando's here. Hello. There you go. Let me get my other tube of blue paint because that one was getting a little bit empty. Okay, this one was also almost done, but there's still some paint here, so I'm going to use it. So like this middle section or somewhere in here, I will want I will want it to look a bit more like a um, like a reflection from the sunset that's going to be painted. So I'm already thinking ahead on on that kind of thing. Agave arte says hola hola agave arte cómo está. Using the rule of thirds from photography, I will probably want to make this ocean kind of take up take up about a third of this composition. So it doesn't have to be exact. I, I can uh, do something approximate. And go way up. This is muy bien. Te extraño. Oh, muchas gracias. Let's see, where is a third? Is it here? Up maybe a little here? No, it doesn't feel like it, but I'm just going to work with it here. I may want to end up painting a little extra blue because then the sky will be painted on top of that. Anyway, I'm going to have to be working in layers here, as always. And then already we're seeing a little bit of this lighter color. I may want to end up moving over, but the lighter color is going to end up being this uh, the sunset reflection. So let me let me find my uh, really light color, which is going to be the white paint here. Set it on the supply the supply uh, shelf right here. Let's see. 
Hey, Peter. Hey, Adrian Zart. Nice to see you guys. Okay. I'm going to add these little reflections in. And again, these may get painted over, but notice that I'm working, uh, the paint is not dry, so kind of getting just that real organic feel. All right, good. Now I'm going to go ahead and start with just like some real preliminary strokes of what the I'm wanting the I'm wanting this to kind of be the sunset. I don't necessarily need blue clouds, but because I have blue on the brush, I'm just gonna work with it. And then what I also might want to do is kind of add some blue sky to the background here. So let's see, Josh is here. Hey Josh, nice to see you. Thanks for being here. And if you're just tuning in today, I am painting something different. Normally I do a lot of abstract florals and things. And I think I even forgot to update the title, but today um, going with a bit more of a sunset kind of feeling. <laughs> So I'm doing, I'm trying to do a little bit of the, uh, let's see, I've got two streams going. I'm on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook on one camera, and Instagram on the other camera. So, yeah, so getting the sky Just working on adding, starting the first layers of adding a sky. Hey Vic, nice to see you. And I might want to see you guys on Instagram will bear with me for just a minute while I see if I can uh, make sure that all the other chats are able to be seen. Pardon my uh, timer out here. Um, but if you are watching, let me know how your day is going. Let's see, what is today? Tuesday? It's April, uh, April 28th. Are able to be seen. Oh, no. Hold on. Okay. There's a little bit of a playback there. Sorry about that. Okay, so I've got the comments going. What else do I need here? I think that's going to be good. Okay. Whew. So much stuff to, to learn on these, uh, multiple platform things. And Vic says I'm sleepy. Yeah, it's been uh, kind of off and on raining, huh? So, there's a little bit of the sleepiness going around, I guess. At least here there has been. Peter says hot. Yeah, it is hot. Ugh. Okay. And, oh, Vic says a victim of a hearty lunch. Yeah, I just... I just ate a bunch too. And Josh says that Twitch is still being twitchy. It's got me teleporting around the patio. <laughs> I see what you meant. Okay. I don't know if I have enough room on my screen for all these chats. Hey, Dee and Marie, nice to see you. Okay, you guys, I'm doing something different today. It's not floral abstracts. It's more of a sunset kind of scene. So if you're just joining, thanks for being here. Thanks for saying hi. I'm gonna keep going. I'm just adding, right now I'm just kind of adding layers, getting things started. You all know I love this blue, I'm sure. If you've seen this, you've seen this show before, you know how much I love this blue. <laughs> and 
I'm also modeling this after somewhat of a photo, somewhat of a painting. So just trying to see what I want to do here. This is me saying I would like there to be a cloud there eventually. And then also here. In the moving. This is me saying I want the sunset to go there. It's going to need different colors, but for now I just have the blue, so that's fun. Hey, Gabriel, nice to see you. <laughs> All right. And Peter says summer, summer heat. Yeah, it's really hot, isn't it? I'm like, why am I outside right now? So I've basically never done any other kind of landscape besides, uh, Gabe says, looks good, friend. Thank you, Gabe. And Josh says, Instagram live for the clutch. Yeah! <laughs> Josh, you switched over from Twitch, huh? Sounds good. Okay, so I'm gonna, I've never done, never done a landscape painting on live before, but here we are. Okay. <laughs> using this time well, <laughs> while I'm back here painting the edges, I'm using this time to stare at my reference photo so I can see what I want to do next. <laughs> I think it's good to have reference photos and paintings. It's not always necessary, but sometimes it's uh, just kind of fun, right? Okay, so I'm going to switch colors now because I have a lot of blue. And we're going to end up adding more blue later, but this will just be like the first layer. It's so hot out here. There's so many mosquitoes. It's just... I do have a fan on this patio, which is like totally amazing. I always wonder, like, why do I have a fan here? Now I know. Josh says, how is the sky over at your place? It's a downer over here. Does downer mean it's like really pouring rain? <laughs> Didi says, oh yeah, I'm feeling that. Thank you, Didi. I'm excited about it. It's a little, um, it's a preliminary sunset or sunrise kind of a painting. Oh, and Josh, when you were asking about the weather, there's no rain. I don't know why there's been no rain today, at least not here. It's been a lot of thunder, a lot of threatening to rain. No, no actual rain yet. All right. So now I'm going to try for a feeling of a sunrise, so I need that little yellow color. It's probably going to turn out green because there's so much blue paint that has not dried. So that's okay. It'll just be fun layers. It'll look like a majestic sunrise over, over here. It's not, it's not mixing in too badly. It's kind of nice. Dramatic. Super dramatic. And Dee Dee says it rained in Woodland Heights. Let's see, Woodland Heights is. It is over there by the heights. It's north of the heights, I think. Josh says plenty of rain, occasional thunder and lightning. Fun stuff. Oh yeah, I love thunder and lightning. We have had some lightning. I've enjoyed that. Oh, 
Didi said, do I see a bridge? Is a bridge in your mind? Oh, um, it's from a previous piece of artwork or photo that was paint, uh, excuse me. There was a photo that was printed on this panel. I was given a bunch of pre-printed panels and I've been using them. Sorry, I have tons of paint in my fingernails. <sighs> And I'm just over here, like, battle, battling mosquitoes. And... This, this uh, painting show is uh, done with the intention of creating peace. Oh, okay. Didi says, pseudo-wooden people. Okay. All right, you guys. I'll keep going. And Lisa is raining through, like, yeah. I can imagine it's like raining everywhere right now. These, um, <clears throat> these things that I'm adding here will end up being clouds. But right now, they're just kind of preliminary spot, color spots, I suppose. I got a few on this bag, but this thing that will eventually be a club. That's nice. Okay, let's see what else. Um, Josh says, man, and mosquitoes got you bad. Yeah, I guess I should like. Say I'm gonna take a break and go get my citronella. <laughs> and right now I can feel like two of them. Okay, Jenny's here. Hi, Jennifer. Great to see you. Okay, you guys. Oh, and Didi says good lighting. Thank you. All right. I have not gotten to the magenta color. Oh, Susan's here. Hi, Susan. Um, okay, I've not gotten to the magenta color yet today, so I'm gonna do that. Try to mix it in a little bit. Susan, I'm doing something totally different. And anyone else who's just joining? Jennifer? And anybody else? <laughs> um, I'm not painting floral abstracts today. I'm doing more of a landscape ish kind of painting. It's a, sort of a sunrise scene over the ocean. So it's fun. Because I had a dream that I was flying over the ocean and I thought it was so cool. It was just. It was too fun, and I thought, yep, I could paint that. And this is one of those things I may end up doing quite a few layers on it. Just seeing Chris is here, because. And Kristen's here. Hey, Kristen. So, I end up going over and over this one. With a lot of layers, <clears throat> but that's pretty much every painting I do has quite a few layers. This will be, this will be a fun adventure. fun to just, um, at least the most fun and effective ways to sort of push the color out. Like use whatever color is already there and has not dried and use that as kind of like the base part. And then like if I'm using, so in this case I'm using the magenta, so I like to kind of push the magenta color out towards the edges here. Makes a good cloud effect. And since I'm going for a sunset or sunrise, I keep saying sunset, but I really know 
I want it to be a sunrise. <laughs> and Lori's here, Lynn's here, hey. Alright, let me see if I need a cloud sort of feeling over here. All the colors that I normally use, the um, magenta yellow and a blue, and so I'm going to start back over again with the blue, which is where I started. <laughs> this will be a fun, um, another fun layer to add. So thinking, so kind of go, these will kind of represent the, um, the rays, rays of light. I'm just going to add a little water to the brush here. So this may sort of accidentally erase some of this, David. Hey, David. Um, what I'm doing now might end up erasing a little bit of the work I've already done. That's okay. It'll be, it's like a natural part of the process. see me fidgeting and you're just tuning in it's because <laughs> there's so many mosquitoes out here and so I'm constantly sweating in the way. Hey there. Oh let's see. Sam's here, Deepak is here, Iman's here, and Dave is here. Hey guys. likes drama in their paintings, we have drama. <laughs> we have drama in this painting. And hopefully more to come. Josh says, we wouldn't blame you if you wanted to go get the citronella. Okay, that's a good idea. Thank you. I'm going to be back in about 30 seconds. Hold on, okay? I'm going to go get the citronella so I can stop jumping around these, mos these mosquitoes. <laughs> Oh, 
Hello. Okay. So I've got these. Uh, I don't know what I have. I have some citronella, but I don't know if I can get the little bottle open. I think I put the wrong cap on it. So let me know. How's Tuesday going? Do you guys have any ideas for future paintings? If so, I'd like to hear about it. Let's see. I just grabbed a random test tube of essential oil. I think it's like orange. I can never say the word orange right, which is fine. So I'm adding some citronella to this. It's important to have a, a carrier oil. I don't know why I'm laughing. This is silly. Silly to be putting citronella oil on in the middle of a breakfast, but here we are. Also, this is a good chance for me to be kind of looking down at the, um, have like a reference photo in front of me here. Um, Facebook Live, if you guys are watching, say hi. I'd like to hear from you. Oh, there's a comment on YouTube that says, I think you're off to a great start. Thank you so much. All right, I think I got all the citronella I can handle for now. <laughs> a little test tube of essential oil. Now, where was I? <laughs> oh yes, painting. Painting on the patio. Here's some brush. And Josh says, maybe some landscapes, Paris, France. I gotta be cliche, I guess, or I know. <laughs> um, yeah, Paris is amazing. That sounds like a great idea. Uh, and Vic says, what are we concocting in your laboratory? Oh, are you, you're talking about the, um, the essential oils. Yeah, I was having a mosquito problem, so I went and got some citronella oil, and then I already had a test tube of carrier, carrier oil. I think it was like orange plus olive oil. And let's see, Gabby Arte says, I just realized that your Espanol is muy bueno. Donde lo aprendiste? Um, I learned Spanish on an app called Duolingo. Probably a lot of people have heard of it, but if you haven't, it's amazing. And then after that, after I learned Spanish on Duolingo, I started practicing with my friends and uh, people that I was meeting just in random places. Uh, many people in this ciudad, this city, they speak Spanish, so it's pretty easy, pretty easy to find people to practice Spanish with. All right, where am I? I know I'm painting, but what am I painting? I think I'm going to add some little, a little bit of white to these clouds because they look a little funny. I feel like that white is very stark, but I'll probably go back later. Hey, Charmin! I'll probably go back later and kind of soften that up. And if y'all saw me uh, painting the galaxy paintings, which um, if you didn't, it's there's an archive of it on Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash arts of electric. But yeah, if you saw me painting the galaxies and the nebulae, then you've seen me paint cloud formations before. Okay, let's see what I want to do. I think I'm going to add hopefully this cloud needs a little bit of just 
trying to decide if I have too much, like I'm trying to decide which, which side of the clouds I want to have a highlight because I feel like each cloud needs to be highlighted on the same side. So maybe I'm going to want to highlight this side of the clouds. So this one will have to be toned down, which is fine. But I just need to make sure this side is highlighted. There's a cloud over here, so I also want to highlight this, this side as well. And this, this cloud is intentionally a little bit darker, so I'm not doing the highlight quite as stark. Okay, okay. What else, you guys? Next, I'm going to need to maybe work a bit on the horizon line. Everything that's, everything that's above the horizon line and everything that's below it. Like that kind of, that little area. Just so here. scary. Hey, just so cute. Miguel says, I love watching work. Thank you, Miguel. That's so cool. Hey Miguel, sometime if you want to walk over, um, I'll let you know when I'm going to go live and you can be with the studio audience. <laughs> I'm just kidding, if you want to. If it's too silly, feel free to say no. <laughs> Sometimes I have like this fantasy of like people just lining the fence behind the cameras and having a studio audience. Okay, it's too silly. I think I did the opposite of what I want to do. Miguel says thank you. I'd like that. thank you. Thanks for um, thanks for saying so. I think what I meant to do is make this a little darker. So now I'm going to go back over that. And I might want to wait for it to dry, but it's good because that that kind of that area needed to be built up a little bit with layers anyway. Um, and this part I do want to be lighter, so let me go ahead and get some of this white paint going. Let's see, FO16 is here. Thanks for being here and thanks for saying hi. Rosa's here. Hey, Rosa. Very nice to see you. 
Okay, so I'm doing something different today. Probably you already saw that, but i um, doing a bit more of a landscape type painting. It's a uh, ocean scene, sunrise. And I usually end up working in layers, so this is kind of a bit of a first layer type situation. Well, maybe second layer, I guess. Some parts it's the first layer, some parts it's the second layer. <laughs> I was working on a commission this morning and it felt like the colors were like super flat. There was not a lot of, um, I don't know, there just wasn't, it wasn't like my usual kind of painting. It was like just like one color in one area, one color in another area, very separated. And I still found myself layering. <laughs> and I was thinking, wow, I just, I never get away from this. But I think it's just because adding layers to a painting just makes it a lot more rich makes it so much more beautiful. Josh says, how about a sunrise on a field with flowers like poppies of lavender? Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. And he says, offering another idea to paint. Thank you so much. That would be wonderful. And Agave Arte says, while you're painting, I'm cooking. Oh my gosh, I love cooking. <laughs> I was cooking earlier, it was so awesome. Vic says, is it going to take you more than one stream to complete this? I plan to complete this in one stream, but that's because lately I've been going about two hours on every stream. Um, but then I just remember that Instagram Live only allows for one hour at a time. So yeah, I might end up having to do another Instagram Live, having to restart that. I don't think my citronella is working. I don't think I got enough of that citronella into the... In there. But let me see if I can reapply. These are my essential oils. <laughs> Keep them in test tubes. I'm going to add a little bit more citronella. Make sure it's nice and highly concentrated. Mix it up. Yeah, so Josh was talking about another idea, like sunrise on a field of flowers. Yeah, that just sounds like really nice. I love flowers, I love sunsets. I love the ocean. <laughs> Still getting bit up by mosquitoes though, so I'm over here just applying. <laughs> Applying citronella, or at least as much as possible. <clears throat> okay, okay. See if that helps. Higher concentration. All right. What do I need to do next? I'm gonna go with. Sometimes, if I don't know what I what I need to do next, then I end up just switching colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to yellow. Mix it in with what's already there. I want this to be the area of the actual sun. I want it to be a little bit blurry, so it's not, it's not just like a circle, it's kind of a blurred out little vision there.
didn't really mean to do that, but okay, it's another video, isn't it? Okay. I kind of feel like these lines I'm making are a little too annoyingly straight or something. <laughs> um, but I'm not going to worry about that right this second. I'm just... Sometimes, like... Well, okay, let me just say my favorite, or one of my favorite painting mentors, um, his name's Clinton Millsap, and he has this, uh, he has this one thing he says about if you're painting something that's like a nature, based on nature, so if it's like a person or a tree or anything that's um, organic at all, he says this thing about how there's no straight lines in nature. <clears throat> and so that's how I feel about the sunset, like, mm, these lines are too straight. They don't look like they're in nature. <laughs> so yeah, sometimes if things get a little too perfect looking, I'll kind of go in and mess it up a bit. And on that note, sometimes it helps to work a little bit fast. That way the conscious mind doesn't try to get in the way. Which, by the way, is why I work so quickly so often, because I'm trying to circumvent that whole conscious mind thing. And that's why it's been a fun challenge, working to uh, teach on camera, <laughs> or I don't know if I'm really teaching, but whatever I'm doing here. <laughs> As I step back a little bit, I see I see this area that is a little too. Oh, it's kind of it's kind of annoying that it's like not very defined. Like sometimes it's good to have blurry areas, but for some reason this blurry area, I'm like, no, thank you. Oh, and Josh says, "Where are your grasshoppers? Grasshoppers." <laughs> Thanks, Josh. That's super cool. I hope uh, anyone who is wanting to paint will be inspired. Um, know that you can if I can do it you guys can do it I didn't paint for like 30 the first 30 years of my life so <laughs> and so that's only well I won't tell you how long ago that was but it was a little while ago I was talking about how that one area is too blurry and then I didn't go fix it. So I'm gonna fix it now. Or at least work on it. it may not be fixed, but let's see if I can get it closer to what I'm wanting. What I'm wanting is more definition in this area. Carrie's here. Hey Carrie. Okay, so more definition here. is not quite dry enough to be making that happen. That's okay. That's the beauty of painting is one area is not ready to be painted and another area can be moved to. Let me just straighten out this line now.
Well, it's a line. It's a more defined line. <laughs> and on that note, I'll probably go ahead and try to define the area above that. So I'm just getting a bit more wet paint on the brush here. That's too much. If I determine later that that's too much white, then I'll go back and paint back over it. But for now, let's try it. Let's see how it works. building up layers on clouds. Okay, so I'm looking at the camera, I mean looking at the painting in the camera's view. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Let me step back behind the cameras and see what needs to get done next. So bear with me while I do that. Mm, I feel like something, let me look at my reference photo a little bit. I do feel like there's either a cloud missing or something to do. Maybe just something kind of subtle like that, just sort of a light. <laughs> oh, Brian is here and says kaboom. Thank you, Brian. And Daryl says, ah, you mended the easel. No, I didn't. I just uh, did the same thing as yesterday. Hey there. Daryl says hi. Um, yeah, I just propped the easel up. Okay, so I've been feeling like I wanted to put some white highlights up here on this cloud. Do some more highlights on this file. Lord Pancakes says, looks nice. What a transformation. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Lord Pancakes, did you um, did you tune out and tune back in? <laughs> and if so, I can imagine how much of a stark contrast that, that must be from the beginning to now. <laughs> and it happens so quickly, doesn't it? It's crazy. But yeah, having a reference photo, I feel like, is so imperative. Like, it just lends itself to being able to can like paint really quickly with that. Working on working on this sunset. I think maybe I'm trying to see what's missing. I think maybe I just need a little bit more. Like I have a lot of yellow happening here. I'm calling it a sunset, even though I totally said it was a sunrise from the beginning. Okay. I guess it doesn't matter. It's a sunrise, sunset, same thing, right? Well, it's not exactly the same. But... <laughs> okay. So, a little bit of. Um... Kind of helps. 
to me it just helps it feel a little bit more balanced for some reason. It's hard to say why. Maybe because we've got a real dramatic magenta, the real dramatic turquoise, and now the real dramatic yellow there. Over that because I just made a little lineup. Hey, Chad. Thanks for being here. And Daryl says, What is Restream? It is a service that allows me to stream on YouTube. Sorry, guys, there's some really loud neighbors across the street. <laughs> um, anyway, so let's see, what is, what is Restream? It's a service that allows me to stream on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook all at once. And I still have to use a second camera for Instagram, which is totally fine. Um, yeah, I'm happy to happy be here. Oh, and Daryl says, never mind, I Googled it. Okay, cool. painting that's hanging in my house that has similar colors and kind of a similar I don't know, like composition and it is just like my favorite thing. Let's see. Lord Pancake says I started watching, sorry I started writing so I missed some of it but I was listening. Oh cool. Yeah that's really exciting. Hey Tommy. Thanks for being here. And Jamie's here. Or do you say hi May? Well hello. <laughs> um, Oh, and then Daryl says, I explained it better, to be honest. Oh, you're talking about the Restream app, yeah. It's exciting. It's exciting to finally be able to um, talk to everyone all at once. So I have some people who have asked me to go onto YouTube, which is really nice. And then um, <laughs> Peter says, that is so beautiful. Thank you so much. And Frank's here. Hey, Frank. But yeah, the artwork that's hanging in my in my bedroom, it is it's kind of like this, but a, quite a bit more abstract. But so, kind of feeling like that's a little bit what's missing is like, I haven't really abstracted this up, <laughs> made it abstract enough yet or something. And Frank says hello from Katie. Okay, you guys. What else? Maybe I liked what I did just now with those little yellow like these little yellow lines oh you know what i should do too is like take the i should take the um painting off the easel and put it close to the camera so that you all can see it okay so once you be able to see all the textures And Jim's here. Hey, Jim. And thank you so much for being here and saying hello. And also, it is Tuesday. It's April 28th, and the year is 2020. <laughs> okay. I like saying that saying the date on the broadcast because I think it's the one thing I keep forgetting and it's kind of fun to remind myself and uh, hopefully you guys will <laughs> get some use out of me reminding you to. <laughs> I don't know. So I don't want my brush but I got it now. Um, yeah, I'm just going to work on abstracting, I'm going to call it abstracting up. <laughs> abstract up this painting 
And Daryl says, lovely, it's 1 a.m. here. Just wanted to stop in, say a quick hello, have to go to sleep, take care. Bye, Daryl, have a great sleep. <laughs> hey, Heath, um, I was working on an artwork for, for Heath this morning, so that's very fun. All right, want that magenta color. Okay, here's magenta. And continue mixing, matching, doing stuff. I think in the summer eyes, <clears throat> the clouds will often be like a lot of different colors. So I'm working on incorporating lots and lots of different colors. Into these into these clouds that are already painted. Oh no. My Instagram stream turned off. Let me see if I can get it back. It probably won't work, but maybe I can at least just try to go live again. Aravex is here and says, I was just about to say this is the first painting I've seen from you that looks so logical. <laughs> okay, so let's go on. Only problem one of the main problems that I'm seeing, like that I'm already doing, Brian's here. Hey, Brian. Oh, one of my longtime friends. Um, yeah, so, all right. So people are joining back on Instagram. Thanks for, thanks for finding us again. <laughs> um, yeah, so one thing I'm seeing is like when this, these brush strokes get a little bit repetitive, they just, they don't really look like they came from nature and that, really annoys me when I'm making a painting based on nature. So, I'm gonna fix that. <laughs> okay, that was too dramatic. But, um, I'm gonna paint over it a little bit with blue, and I think what will happen is there will be a little bit of a mix happening, which is kind of cool. can be cool. I just really feel like it's such a big challenge to make things like we're using our conscious mind, but I'm like trying to make things look like they grew naturally. This is like almost impossible, but that's why it's a fun challenge. Okay, so because I am doing a whole completely new style today, please let me know if there are any questions, if um, there's anything I can do to help explain anything better, or just anything you guys want to know about this painting for being an artist in general. Um, yeah, the intention of this broadcast is for people to have more peace. <laughs> How do I paint so good? Uh, yeah, that's a question from Twitch, from Veravex on Twitch. Um, I paint so good because I have painted so bad <laughs> for so long. <laughs> I've put in thousands of hours into bad paintings and other such failed creative projects. And then finally just giving up, going to YouTube and saying, how do I paint? And then watching other people do it.
I cannot tell y'all for how long I resisted being a painter or an artist of any kind. I used to be a graphic designer and sometimes people people would call me an artist. I would get like, I would almost get mad. I'd be like, I am not an artist. Because <laughs> I had this idea that artists had big egos and all kinds of stuff like that. Let's see. And there's a question that says, how does painting make how does painting make you feel? Painting makes me feel relaxed. It makes me feel like I love color. It makes me feel like there's never enough, I don't know, like like there's never enough stuff to do. Or how do you say that? Like, like I'm never going to get through my to-do list, which actually feels really good because it feels like I'll never be done. <laughs> Gavin O'Leary Art says hi. Yeah, painting just relaxes me. Sometimes there's like those moments of frustration, but that's part of the relaxation because it like brings up the frustration and then it's like, oh yeah, but you're in control. Like you, Lindsay, you're in control. And then do I ever paint monochrome? That's another question. Do I ever paint monochrome? Yes, I do. I often paint black and white. Well, I shouldn't say often, but sometimes. Um, and so I'll paint like with one color and white, just like maybe orange and white or something like that. Or I guess there was one painting last year that was completely blue and white. Actually a couple paintings like that last year that were totally blue and white. That was fun. Okay. sure what I'm doing, which is fine. That's how every painting is. Frank says, love the blue and white. <laughs> Thank you, Frank. Yeah, every time I paint these colors, I think of you. I think, oh, where's Frank and Tommy? Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, sometimes I don't know what I'm doing. Kind of get a view of this <laughs> painting from the camera's angle, but I probably should just turn around and try to view it from that from right here. So, let's see. I just did all this, like all this drama up here. I think I'm going to go back over it and kind of make it a more horizontal because back here is horizontal strokes. So. This will be good. It's kind of just like, just kind of simple. Very gently adding um, some layers. Gabby F, please, can you have a moment? This is a lot of white on my brush, so let's see if there's some more. I'll put it down here. white paint with that dark area. <laughs> Josh says more drama please. <laughs> I know right it's so fun because with being a painter because I have no like real drama in my life well at least not much. 
like the paintings, the paintings can have drama, that's fine. <laughs> Going kind of well, I suppose, for a very unplanned, well, I wouldn't say very unplanned, but I didn't really know how this was going to work. <laughs> there's, a, there's a question from Verabex that says, do you ever get frustrated with your art? Do I ever get frustrated with my art? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, I do. Gavin O'Leary says, I'm loving the drama. It's making me want to go and watch Pirates of the Caribbean. It's very Jack Sparrow. <laughs> that is so cool. I love that. Thank you very much. All right. I do. I just feel a little bit incomplete with this for some reason. I'm going to work on that. I don't know what's making me feel that way. So just now, I just know it's not done. I guess I'm still feeling like this whole sunrise part, all these clouds and things, it just feels still, it still just feels a little too inorganic or something. It just feels a little too, this is too much here, I'm trying, <laughs> sorry, I'm like squinting at the camera. <laughs> Let me stand back, see if I'm losing the I'm trying to imagine these lights um, possibly like bouncing, bouncing off of the clouds that are there. I don't know. So let me just keep looking on that. Maybe like maybe we don't really see the full cloud, but maybe we see maybe we just see like this fun little. Color light, colorful light. I find I keep losing my colors, keep setting them down in <laughs> different places. All right, so I'm gonna try the magenta now. So I think that might be the antidote to this problem of having having it look a little too mm, it is, but contrived. That's the word my mom uses. All right, so I'm going to try. More soft. There we go. I'm that. And it wouldn't be a Lindsay painting if I didn't tap my brush up against the canvas. Gabriel's here. Jennifer's here. Hi. Nice to see you. imaginary cloud or something like we don't see the full cloud but we see the light ever so gently re reflecting off of it <laughs>
That sounds like a sunset that I would like to see. Yeah, okay, good. Um, also, Veravex was asking if I ever get frustrated with my art, and the answer is yes, but I will say it gets a lot easier. Like in the beginning, when I first started painting about four and a half years ago, oh my gosh, I was constantly frustrated. Um, but as I began to paint pretty much every day, so I've painted almost every day for the last four and a half years, well, maybe four years, because when I first started painting, I was like, once a week or twice a week was like a lot. Anyway, but then slowly I started to start painting every day. And what happened is, I just, I don't know, I started to notice that almost anything can be resolved. Like, anything can be resolved. And if it can't, then the painting goes in the corner <laughs> and it sits there for three years <laughs> until you pick it back up or paint over it. And you can just like start on a new painting that, I don't know, anyway, so. I don't really get as frustrated with my art as I used to. If, if anything is too frustrating now, I'll just set it to the side. And it does sometimes literally sit there for like two or three years. And there's a question from Garbex that says, do I ever feel regret in my art? That's a really good question. Let me think about that. I think the answer is no, but let me just, let me paint a little bit and uh, see if that's actually true. Okay, I'm gonna wave to a couple of people. Really, I can't think of any time I've ever felt regret in my art. No, in life, yes, I have done some things I regretted. But even those, I kind of say to myself, well, you know, I wouldn't have learned, I wouldn't have learned the uh, amazing lessons that I learned if I hadn't done some things that I later wished I hadn't done. I feel like everything I've done has taught me, taught me what not to do in the future. <laughs> Which is nice. Yeah, that's a great question. Um, let me know if there's, if there's any more or if you'd like me to clarify or anything. Is that Rob? Hey, Rob! Great to see you. Just going start to finish on this ocean sunrise landscape painting. <laughs> it's kind of been a mess at some at some points, but you know, just resolving it as it go. time did I start painting today? I think around 4.30, 4.30, 4.30. 
because it's been an hour and 20 minutes. Good. April Ferry join, hello. Okay. Um, this painting looks like I might be at the point where I want to put it to the side for now. She says that she adds like two more brush strokes. Or three. Or four. Or five. I don't know, I just I have a real soft yellow color on the brush, kind of giving that dry brush effect. Covered up the sun a little too much, so I'm gonna put a bit of yellow paint in the brush to try to get that back on there. Notice the sun is not a circle, I'm not like doing this motion with the brush, I'm kind of doing more side to side because I want it to be a bit blurry. Like it's way up there across the horizon. Okay. Y'all, I kind of feel like something's missing from this painting, but I'm going to go ahead and put it to the side for now. Maybe come back to it later. And I'm gonna start on another painting. I think the next one I do will be like a, I'll probably do some kind of like a galaxy nebula painting today. Okay, and one more close up look for everyone on the streams. Thanks for looking. And on to the next panel. I have some. Um, oh, Verivex says green flash. Oh, yeah. That's so cool. I love that. um, I have this commercially printed art panel. It has a photograph already printed on it. But I'm going to go ahead and turn it into a galaxy or like a nebula kind of painting. I understand if people are like, why are you painting over stuff that already has art printed on it? Well, these weren't selling as they are, so they were basically given to me. I did pay money for them, but <clears throat> not a lot, so. Anyway. <laughs> oh, it's probably more info than everybody needs. But I'm putting black paint in the brush, so. She's trying to talk well. Hey, Guido. <laughs> and Gavin and Larry Art says, how, how nervous do you get doing this? <laughs> That's a really good question. Well, when I first started, I was very nervous. I still get nervous um, because I often don't really know what I'm going to do before I go live. <laughs> so a lot of times, oh! and stuff happens like, Dropping the can of paint, which by the way is almost completely dry, so it didn't, nothing spilled. This is my can of paint. <laughs> okay. I'm like the Dairy Queen person. Or is that, is it Dairy Queen? I'm not gonna mess with it, I'm just gonna paint. I have to like really work to get the paint out of this, out of this can here. Right, and because it is going to end up as a 
sort of like a nebula kind of scene or a galaxy scene. I'm going to go ahead and start adding some of those extra colors in. Just because I'm, I'm knowing I'm going to need that texture anyway, or I'm knowing I'm going to need some of those, some of those different colors. Oh, and then Gavin and Larry Art was asking about how nervous I get doing this. I will just say it gets it gets a lot easier. Yeah, at first it was kind of. Yeah. I'm just kind of hairy all around, but it just gets easier as I go, I suppose. And then a lot of times I'll kind of be like every day when I turn when I first turn the cameras on, I'll kind of be nervous. But I've done a lot of practice with public speaking, so I just try to apply those principles to these uh, live streams, and that seems to help a lot. Oh, and also, Gavin O'Leary, if you're asking about how nervous I'm getting, well, I will tell you too that anytime I start to feel, if I start to feel like way too nervous, or like something's going on and I don't know what to do or say, I just turn around and start painting. And I, I was laughing about that with one of my good friends a couple of weeks ago. Oh, was that ABM and Charles and Edwin? Hey, you guys. Shelby, nice to see y'all. So when I started this painting, I had it on its side. So I'm going to go ahead and flip it back over. That was just so I could make sure I got the bottom painted. Flip it back to regular orientation. Let's see, Gavin O'Leary says, I ask because I do have troubles with anxiety. I rarely question my work, but my personality is always in question. Thank you for your honesty. You're welcome. And Vanessa's here. Hi, Vanessa. Yeah. Oh, seriously, thank you so much for asking, though. Like, I'm so much, I don't know, I'm just so happy to be able to talk about anything with, like, these live streams or painting in general. on some pink nebulae clouds.
This is sort of just a beginning layer here to do some paint now. Adrian Garcia is here. Hey, Adrian. Oh, that's we have the county commissioner watching. <laughs> nice to see you. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Just laying down. Laying down some colors on this canvas here, and I think I'd like to go ahead and switch switch colors a bit. Thinking that white and blue combination is going to be a winner. Let's see what we got here. does not have any white mixed in with it yet, so I'm going to add that. Okay. That. A good thing about uh, nebulae are that they are organic, so they can be, they can kind of just be whatever they want to be. They don't have to look in a certain way. So, David, hey, David, thanks for being here. Wanting to add a second, like a second kind of nebula formula formulation. <laughs> I'm not saying that right. Second kind of nebula formation <laughs> on top. On top of what we already have here. So I'm going to go ahead and start on a second one down here. I haven't added any yellow yet to this to this artwork. I'm trying to get some yellow paint on my brush, but my yellow paint is also almost all dried up. There's still some left in the bucket, so there we go. This is going to be all about building up the layers. This is going to be like layer after layer after layer. Or I think we made up a song. A song? Like layers, the 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 layers. Okay. I'm getting too dorky. There's neighbors walking by and I'm singing about layers to a laptop and a phone. <laughs> I'm putting, putting as much yellow paint on this brush as I can stand.
bit of a lot of a lot of dabbing this uh, dabbing this little paintbrush. <laughs> Josh says layers, layers. Okay, work. I'm gonna work to get some of this some of this uh, paint out of this tube. This tube is like so sad. It's cool though. I still have I still have some. Oh my gosh, and the color that comes out is just so gorgeous. Like, wow. Can someone make a remix of me reacting to this color? <laughs> like, you know those those videos where they combine all the silly things that a person does like into one video? I just like make a video of me reacting to this color coming out of the tree. <laughs> um, and Josh says, all right, all right, all right. Exactly. Okay. Blue, favorite color? Well, this particular shade of blue. This is a very specific shade of blue. Stardust, it's so pretty. I just love it so much. <laughs> Again, I don't mind sounding like a crazy person to my neighbors. <laughs> I have to have a lot of bravery to do this, you guys. Outside, gushing about some shade of blue, talking about stardust. <laughs> stars. A galaxy slash nebula painting is nothing without some stars. So we've got a few stars painted. Let's see. I'm not that happy with it, but I'm gonna keep going. Let's see. In the protectness is here. Hello. Thank you for saying that. Whew. All right. How do I get? Okay. Yes. I needed to start to ask the question out loud to be able to get the answer. <clears throat> question is, how do I get a whole bunch of stars onto this painting at once without you know, overworking myself? And the answer is to take this big brush, dip it in the white paint, and all my paints are really starting to dry up because every day I have them out here open for hours at a time. <laughs> okay, so white paint on the brush, then I'm going to I'll see me do this motion, although I may be not facing the camera. I'm gonna, you know when you're a kid and you like take your hand and rub it against your toothbrush or something, and then all the water squirts out that way? Well, that's what I'm going to do with this paintbrush. Or at least try. Sometimes I just do a real crazy 
Nothing like that. And I just got paint all over the patio, so hold on. Let me uh, wipe it up real quick because it'll be best for wipe it now than if I wait six months and try to clean it up then. Sort of worked, but then I ended up smearing more paint than I cleaned up. So anyway, let me just see. I can pour some water on it, so at least it won't get completely dry. Good. Now at least the paint will stay wet until I can clean it up later. Yeah, where was I ruining my painting? Oh yes, Indie for Technics says hope all is well, and says, and a little into a straw and oh, add a little into a straw and blow the paint on the painting. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. It's a really good idea. That's why I have so many. I just ordered uh, a bunch of straws on my last grocery pickup. I didn't know what they were for. Now I do. Thank you. Much. All right, you guys. I am messing up the painting, which is how one has happy little disasters. little disaster. It's very fun. Seems to be going very well. So let's see. <laughs> Don't want to say is here. Hello. Mandala Art Max is here. Hi. Hola. Nice to see you. I paint back over that part because it's kind of leading the viewer's eye off of the canvas, which is not where I want them to go. I want, I want people to kind of circle back, circle back. Kevin O'Leary says, thanks for having me, Lindsay. Early morning here and about to head out with the kids for a few hours. Much love, Susie. Thank you. Much love to you. Thank you so much for joining and asking questions and um, for interacting. It's really nice. Okay, now where's the black paint? Because I want to cover up, <clears throat> I want to cover up just a couple of little parts here so I can make sure that the painting stays in a certain way of a, like a certain compositional kind of thing going on where I am leading the viewer's eyes back inside the painting, not away from it. So that's why I cover that part up. And we did some strips. Oh, it's so pretty. I hate to cover it up, but if it's not in the right place, I'm not gonna like it. So. textures are the jam. Josh says, been driving, didn't get to look at this second painting until now. Another Nebula masterpiece. Thank you so much. That is so exciting. And Leo is here. Paisley's here. Nice to see you guys. 
Mandala Art Mix says hi. Hello. You guys, I'm not really feeling like this painting is 100% done, but I am going to go ahead and, um, okay, so this is high. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start signing off. Uh, I might sign this, like, physically sign this painting, though, before I do that, so, um, let me know if you have any last minute questions before I'm wrapping up. Um, it's getting kind of late here. Every day I make myself a schedule and I have to stick to it pretty rigorously or else things get kind of out of whack. Josh says, yes, I'm a bad boy. I was typing messages, but I was at a red light. I swear. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Definitely feeling like, hey Brian, feeling like this paint, painting could use a bit more work, but I just don't really have time today. And I am getting out the small brush to add the signature. Color, let's see what color. I think I'm going to sign it in like a pinkish kind of color. Let me just get some of this excess water off the brush here. Here's the faithful pink and we're going to assign it. the tops back onto the paint cans here and paint tubes. So, today has been wonderful. It's been a great painting Tuesday. Alright, um, found the cap for the special blue tube. And for the most part, I've been going live between 4 and 4.30 almost every day. And now that I have a service that will let me be live on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. And then also can be live on Instagram on this other device. So four platforms between 4 and 4.30. I'll be live tomorrow, I'm guessing. If not, I'll be live Thursday. Kind of having to do it on a case by case basis per day. So, anyway, thanks again for spending for spending all this time with me today, and I'll see you guys soon. Okay, love you guys. Bye bye.